Hi, I'm Scott Hardy, founder and president of Top Class Actions, and here are your top five lawsuits of the week. Number one involves Whole Foods and coffee creamer. They have a specific coffee creamer that is called the Whole Foods 365 Everyday Value Organic Almond Milk Coffee Creamer. I have to check my notes on that one because that is a mouthful. Well, this class action alleges that people are paying extra because they are thinking that it contains real vanilla when in fact, according to the class action, nope, it's not actually vanilla extract. It's just fake vanilla flavoring. So you may be paying a premium thinking that you're getting that oh so sweet real vanilla from this Whole Foods coffee creamer. But according to the class action, you are not. So if you buy this stuff, make sure you click on that link. Find out more information about it. That class action may impact you. Number two involves Express Clothing. Express Clothing, once a very popular store in the mall. Now, of course, mostly online like everything. But they got dinged with a class action over text messages. This class action says that they are sending out these text messages illegally and harassing people. So if you receive those text messages from Express, make sure to click that link. This is a TCPA class action, Telephone Consumer Protection Act, and these class actions do end up paying well when they settle for the individual consumer like yourself. Number three is a massive, I'll say massive with like a circle because this is a tire class action. It's a class action involving Cooper tires, specifically 400,000 tires across nine brands were recalled by Cooper Tire according to the National Highway Transportation Safety Administrator. So if you have tires from, of course, Cooper, Big O, Discount Tire, Les Schwab, Pep Boys, or other manufacturers, you will want to check out this recall. Your car might be cruising around in rubber shoes that it shouldn't be, and that could be dangerous. Just a few weeks ago when I was up in the mountains in Sholo, I was on a hill in my four-wheel drive SUV going about five miles an hour, going down, of course it had been snowing, and I hit the brakes and I just kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. My entire family was panicking. Thankfully I didn't hit anyone. And I was told if I actually had snow tires on the car, that wouldn't have happened. Why did I tell you that? Because we're talking about a class action about tires and that's my only tire story. So if you are involved with that tire recall, please click on that link. You do not want to miss out. Next one, we have WB Mason. This one says that they sold fake N95 masks. And so this complaint asserts WB Mason misused the 3M trademark on its packaging, misleading and deceiving customers into thinking that they were getting N95 masks when in fact they weren't certified. So if you are a valued WB Mason customer and you bought those, what this class action says are fake N95 masks, Click that link. Lastly, we have 10 major auto insurers who failed to properly adjust their rates to account for less driving and fewer wrecks. Of course, during COVID, we were all just sitting around at home. My insurer actually did give us a big credit, but I've got one of the world's best insurers in my personal opinion. I will not give them a free shout out though. Okay, well, USAA. I'm lucky I can use USAA because they are super awesome and my dad is a veteran which gives me the option of using them. So, mm, I love you USA, you're great. But this class action involves State Farm, Geico, Progressive, Allstate, and others, and it alleges that these big insurers didn't lower their rates when all of you were not driving at all, sitting at home, looking at people on Zoom, longing for some kind of familiar interaction, maybe even a hug, here's your hug. So if you, are insured by one of those folks, State Farm, Geico, Progressive, Allstate, and others, click on this link. But these attorneys are fighting for you to try to make sure you get that money back in your pocket. So you can always reach out to class counsel. We typically list the class counsel in every lawsuit. You can Google their law firm and send them a note and say, hey, I'm impacted by this. What do I do? How can I get, it? How can I get involved? And they'll be happy to help you. All right, that's all I've got for you this week. Please like, subscribe, follow us. We appreciate you. I appreciate you and make it a great week.